So I want to take a few minutes with this video to jump into two very interesting topics regarding the PS5 and Xbox Series X's release date via a new confirmation from Microsoft. Along with that, we're also going to talk about Ubisoft not charging higher prices for next-gen games later this year. I also want to note that I'll be live streaming the Xbox Games Showcase later today like I did the PlayStation event. I know this is a PlayStation channel, but I've talked about Xbox Xbox many times like I'm going to do in this video and I play on Xbox myself as you guys already know and I really hope they bring the big guns today. We had about 900 people live last time I believe during the PlayStation stream and it was a lot of fun honestly talking games with everyone so I'm excited to see what Xbox is going to bring to the table today so i hope to see you guys later today during the xbox game showcase and we can watch it together first let me know if any of you are going to pick up a series x and a playstation 5 or are you just going to pick up the playstation 5 i'm fortunate enough to be able to purchase both next gen consoles as i have done before and i'm excited to do so so i can play everything both platforms have to offer and i'm curious how many of you are planning on the same thing so comment below if you're planning on getting both a series x and a playstation 5 or just a playstation 5 let me know down in the comments below now diving into the first story of the video ubisoft going against the grain and not charging players 70 dollars for next gen games later this year so as a lot of people know at this point nba 2k21 has been revealed to have a bump in price for the next gen version of the game there was a whole debate on this topic and we spoke about it when it first went live my personal thoughts on the matter haven't changed i don't personally believe every game should be 70 dollars i do understand that game development over the years has increased but the price of games haven't in quite some time the thing about that though is that while a lot of people talk about how game development has increased game prices and game prices haven't increased developers and publishers have found other more lucrative ways to monetize their games for longer periods of time games have evolved from this one complete package you buy for a single product price to these extended game experiences that expand via DLC, microtransactions, etc. As I said last time, I do think there are games out there worth paying the increased price for like God of War because you know most of their money is being made from that entry ticket price and of course they also produce great games. So it's not a all or none story. Some games deserve it while others I just believe, personally, in my opinion, are just being greedy. But to continue, Ubisoft has come out and cleared the air regarding their games coming out later this year, and specifically their games coming out later this year. You'll understand what I mean once we read the information, so let's read the information and then discuss it. Reading from Video Game Chronicles, Earlier this month, publisher 2K announced that the next installment in its NBA 2K series will cost $70 on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, and other game publishers are reportedly also considering raising their game prices on the next-gen consoles. Asked if Ubisoft plans to follow suit during its first quarter earnings call on Wednesday, CEO Yves Guillemont, I always destroy that name, hopefully I got it right this time around, said the company's Christmas games, which includes Watch Dogs Legion and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, won't come at a premium price. For the Christmas games, we plan to come with the same price as the previous generation of games, and that's what we focus on at the moment, he said. So, for later this year, at least, Ubisoft is not going to increase their prices for their games, but it's clear they're checking the waters, they're testing the waters to see how people react to other developers like 2K when they increase their prices because he specifically addresses games coming this year. While I do think games like Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs are okay to increase their prices, I don't think increased prices in general will go down well later this year with all that's going on and people being tight on money and already trying to you know purchase a next-gen console so I'm curious to see how this all plays out you guys let me know if you think increased game prices will be a problem later this year or not let me know down in the comments below now 
Diving into the second story of the video, PS5's release date being hinted by a Microsoft confirmation. So just to say right off the bat, I, like most, have been thinking November is the time when next-gen consoles would drop probably a week apart from each other. November 20th sounds about right for at least when one of the consoles will release. And we spoke about this before because both Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Cyberpunk 2077 will be releasing the same week of the 20th. So two big hitters releasing the same week around the time when most think next-gen consoles will drop. I personally believe they'll be a week apart from each other. I don't see both consoles releasing the same week, probably a week or two, most likely a week apart from each other. But to continue, Dina Bass, who's a tech reporter at Bloomberg, has stated that in a conversation during a conference call with Microsoft CFO Amy Hood, the CFO confirmed November for the release of the new console, or more specifically, November holidays. So let's read her tweets. Microsoft CFO Amy Hood says new Xbox is still on track for the November holidays launch. Then we had The Verge's Tom Warren ask, did she specifically say Xbox Series X and specifically say November? And she replied with, it was a response to a question from me and I said new console and November holidays. Her answer was the single word yes. So... The CFO could have been caught off guard here, but November was the month that always made sense to me. I remember seeing people state October could be the release date month, but I've said before that from my understanding, holiday season really starts late November. So with Microsoft seemingly going for November, I have no doubt in my mind that Sony will also be revealing, or I mean releasing, the PS5 in that same month. Again, probably a week apart from the Series X, either before or after. So November 20th and maybe a week later. If anything, I guess maybe before the 20th and then somebody releases on the 20th, but we'll see. November in the end is when I see these consoles dropping and it seems that we got a confirmation on the Microsoft and even a slight confirmation. But you guys let me know if you think the PS5 is releasing in November or do you think Sony would do something crazy like release the PS5 a month ahead? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps, and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now, I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is to body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comment section with I'm ready with the bag. Because if you're purchasing the PlayStation 5 or both consoles, you're at this point probably ready with the bag and already know what you're trying to get so if you're excited for pre-orders to go live and their consoles to finally release destroy the comment section with i'm ready with the bag and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one